Yo, what up, my tubers? We're back for some more drafting of Dominar United here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button as we move into our opening pack. We've got an Ajani. Ajani, Ajani, Ajani. I don't think this is the greatest Planeswalker. I think it's pretty weak, actually. And playing green-white, not the most powerful color combination in my opinion um realistically i think knight of dawn's light's probably the best pick one pack one here in this pack that being said we can try to take this um it does get a lot of value i mean planeswalkers and limited are just good even if they're not quote-unquote good planeswalkers so you're never really gonna ultimate a johnny you're gonna use it for the plus Ability and sometimes the minus ability. I think the baseline is probably the plus ability, unless you can kill your opponent in like a turn or two. Um, but yeah, anyway. We'll take a Johnny. We'll see if it pans out. I'm still going to take the best card out of each pack, or at least try to stay as open as I can. I'm not going to try to force this Planeswalker. And with that being said, our pick number two comes down between two cards, the Electrostatic Infantry, which is been a fantastic two drops even if you're not playing a spell heavy deck um if you've just gonna or if you can just cast one or two then this is just a good enough two drop right a two mana two three trampler that's fine with the potential for more if this got if this gets to a three four so you've cast two or more instants or sorceries that's already fantastic because i've taken the ajani i will go ahead and take the arrest over this um but I think normally I would take the infantry here, but Arrest is still good, so don't get me wrong. Okay, and now we got a pretty good third pick of Weather Seed Treaty. This card has just been amazing every single time. Whether you're playing an actual slower domain deck, or if you're playing a green aggressive deck like the green-red aggro strategy, uh, this deck fits in both super well. So, been one of my favorite uncommons uh, in the format. Passing a Garna, a Rager's good. Angled is fine. Pretty easy uh, treaty, though, for me. Love that one. Obviously, a Johnny wants a creature heavier deck uh, for the plus ability. But you don't need a ton of creatures, right? It still can scry you, in essence. Because if you see a land or non-creature spell on top that you don't want, then you can put it on the bottom or whatever. Pack number... Four, we get a Juniper Order Root Weaver versus like a Magnagoth Sentry. Sentry's probably slightly stronger. I've tried Green White like once or twice, just straight up Green White, and it has not been very good. Maybe I didn't build it correctly, um, but I kind of like taking the two drop here over the Sentry and just trying to keep the curve low. I mean, this is a card that frequently wheels but i think what the green white deck is trying to do similar to say um white red or even red green is be pretty low to the ground have a lot of cheap creatures and either follow them up with combat tricks or um removal you're not really trying to buy super uh late game strategies I don't like Shalai's Acolyte, but it is the pick here. I mean, the only other choice would be the Sunlit, Sunlit Marsh, which doesn't really do much for us. I could consider taking maybe Warhorse, uh, staying open to like a black-white deck, the token deck with a splash of green. And there's also a repossession, but I'm going to do this more because I haven't really drafted green-white before. And at the end of the day, 5-mana 3-4 flyer is not bad. Obviously, if you kick it, it's much better, but... Went on a bit of a tear today on stream. We started the day off with the uh, 3 for 3 on trophies. So we actually got the win rate. Finally, I do, or rather I'm happy to say, finally got the win rate to 60% in draft. Which overall is still, let's see, about 5% lower than my overall draft average across all of Arena. But... Finally got to 60%. It only took 86 drafts. Uh, as we get another Root Weaver here over Combat Trick or Sacred Peaks. 
So it looks like we're heavy white right now, but you have to remember that the Acolyte and both Root Weavers do have green kicker. Man, we had a really crazy deck today, though. The, speaking of red-green, we had two back-to-back red-green decks, both trophied, that just had a bunch of two drops and a bunch of colossal growth uh, with Twinferno, and we were, no joke, no no sarcasm or exaggeration here, frequently hitting people for 20-plus um, in one turn. Anyways, pick number seven. I don't know. Do we take one of these cards here? Repossession is a fine splash. Keldon Strike Team is a fine splash. Like Both of these cards are solid and not too hard to play. I don't know how Scout the, Wilder Scout the Wilderness is in straight up green-white. It kind of feels weird, doesn't it? To play like a ramp card in a creature-based strategy, but the kicker does give you tokens. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the Walking Bulwark. This is pack one. If we get a Chaplain in pack two, uh, this will pay off. Okay, and now there's a Blight Pile here as well. Artillery Blast is not a very good removal spell if you're going to be like a creature-based deck because your opponent's often enough not going to be attacking you, right? So if you're the aggressor. Maybe there's a world where we can end up in like uh, Abzan walls. Especially if we get a Chaplain. Sojourner, Growth, Espionage, Librarian. A lot of filler here. I'm going to take the Colossal Growth. What's likely to be played, I think. I don't think Crusher's bad. It's just not great. There's the Colony, too. And Barricade. Oh, oh, Barricade's better here. We already have the Blight Pile. Um, we don't need to be playing the Blue Walls if necessary. Although Colony is a really good win con. Actually, no. We will take the Colony. I lied. Yeah, I think we might be pivoting into Defenders. Really gonna want to get a chaplain, and I've said this so many different well. I've said this so many different times. I don't think you're supposed to go into defenders unless you get a chaplain, because that's really the only reason to do it. Like colony and blight pile are fine win cons, but they're nowhere on the level of chaplain. We've opened a King Darien. A Johnny into King Darien, I mean, the draft clearly wants me just to go green white. We'll put these over here for now, but I think this is still a very solid uh, potential plan. But yeah, obviously we're going to take the Darien here and continue down the green-white path. This is looking really good. I think red is going to be the most likely splash if we end up playing um, the green-white. It gives us access to like, the kickers on the growth and whatnot. And other combat tricks. Although there is a Stronghold Arena now here too. This card is surprisingly good in a mass creature deck that has ways to gain life. I don't like this card in the slightest, don't get me wrong. But if we're already playing green and white, we can get access to the kicker. And what is in this pack anyways for us? A worm, a marsh. This is a card that I've always passed saying it's bad. But I've never actually played with the card myself. So, we'll take it. What the heck? What is this garbage? Splash tear asunder for black. If we go into that, could be okay. Griffin protector's decent. We're not taking any of these blue cards. Okay. I will take the tear asunder. And maybe Abzan is indeed the route we're going. Although, man, there's a Rada there. Like I said... If anything, I think red would be the most likely splash, but Stronghold Arena into Terra Sunder makes the, uh, the Rada much more awkward, especially when I don't have any fixing yet except for Treaty. Could also just take the Gaia's Might, a decent combat trick to help push through. Man, when Rada works, though, she's so good. But I guess I'll just take the Might. Decent pack. Two green fatties here. Uh, and a wooded ridgeline, actually. I think the marrow is a little bit better than the ancient. Maybe not even a little bit better. I think this card is just better than the Mossbeard Ancient. This is always seven mana, which is very late in the game, generally. Marrow comes down pretty early, or at least in comparison to ancient. The difference between five and seven in limited is like three or four turns. 
not just two mana, right? You have to factor in how frequently you're going to get to seven. So I like this pickup here. Nice little root walla passing a phalanx, a charge, a worm. All right, so likelihood is cutting the defender plan. If we get a chaplain in pack three, we will still run some number of them. Rulik Mons here now too. Yeah, man, the red splash was there. We could have done a nice aggro Naya deck. So Tangled versus taking the Rulik Mons now. I guess we still want to get some more domain cards. We have Marrow, we have Rootwalla, we have Might, so it makes sense to do that. Oh, yeah, and the Treaty, actually, yeah. So it still makes sense to take the domain cards, but baseline looks like we're going to try to be green-white. That's not it. Terra Sunder's like a four-mana removal spell here. Nice Radiant Grove. Badger's all right. Tortoise is okay. Green, white land. I mean, way too good there, right? Oof. That is a very late geyser. That's a wheeled geyser. The bridge here, too. But I guess Prodigy makes sense. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2 in this deck. Plus, we have random blue kicker possibility. That's kind of weird. Man. Okay, we'll take a worm here over Faith Bonder. Another Protect the Negotiators going around. I think Badger is a better pickup than Sojourner. Like, yeah, we have some domain stuff, but Badger is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three that, if you can kick it later in the game, can sometimes just win for you. Making it so that it takes two creatures... Right? To block any one creature attacking can often just push in enough damage. Alright, all this garbage filler. Another badger is not bad. Is there another green white rare that we could open to go on theme? A Johnny into King Darien. Is there some other green white mythic or rare? Ooh, even charge might have been an okay wheel. That is very far away from green white. All right, Urtai resurrected. No, bunch of good red cards here. Holy smokes, battle him, goblin, and lightning strike. For us, we have sacred peaks, tangled islet, and another arrest. I think we'll just have to go with the arrest for some more removal. Um, we are looking for black fixing right now, actually. In fact, without getting any black fixing, the arena is just going to be a cut. Fight down, Griffin Protector. What is my creature count? 10? It's not very high. Uh, my removal right now is a couple of combat tricks, two arrests, tear us under, oh, which again requires black. Hmm. I still think I like taking the removal over the Griffin Protector. Baird. Oh, I did a Relic of Legends is okay. Is it? No. Gosh, all, so many blue lands are going around, but we have no reason to be playing the blue. Just again, random domain stuff, so we don't, like, it's, I don't think it's as necessary as just taking, like, a Magnagoth Sentry here. I guess the Relic of Legends may be not good enough. Okay. 4-4 four, four, reach for 4. There's a Wrath. There's a small reason to splash a little bit of blue, maybe. We're only on four instants and no sorceries, though. So I guess that's not even that good. Second Coral Colony, for the record. Uh, I guess we can take a Phalanx here. Pretty unexciting. Another Arrest. Vine Wall is okay. Eh, more removal, more better. This just feels like filler. This is not a very compelling green-white deck, is it? 
And yeah, without getting some black sources, the Terra Sunder is looking pretty suspicious here. Suspect, I like to say. Yay, we did it! We got a Haunted Mire. Okay, that is a huge pickup because now the Terra Sunder gets a little bit better. Gives us more domain, kicks some cards, and also could open up the Stronghold. We could get one more Haunted Mire. We'd be pretty happy. And all of the... Uh, I, I guess we should have just been blue in this draft. So many good blue cards going around. It's too bad I opened two stupid green-white cards. I mean, I guess the Sky Knight's fine here. It's really good with, like, Marrow. Sky Knight flying and list Marrow. You know, give it plus 6, plus 0 or whatever. Creature counts up to 13. Need to find one or two more playables if we can't find some more black fixing. With only the one Haunted Mire, again, I don't th think the pile's good, or the, the arena's good enough. But the Terra Sunder might still be okay. Another Tangled. Man, that's like the third or fourth Walking Bulwark too, so... There was definitely some opportunity there as we get another Tangled, I suppose. Yeah, just increase our odds of hitting that uh, domain. Choking going around. Well, if somebody uh, has drafted green-white a lot, you can tell me how this deck ended up, because to me, this doesn't seem that good. We can probably play stall for time here. A lot of academy walls going around. Turtle is not looking that good. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straightforward here. I would be a little bit surprised if we got to like five wins with this deck, and maybe even four would be a bit of a stretch. We have a couple of okay cards, but overall this is... I mean, maybe the removal can save us. We have three arrests, a bite down, a couple combat tricks. But I can't, I can't say this looks like a deck that I would be like, oh yeah, that's that's going to go all the way. It could, but I wouldn't necessarily expect it to. Looking at other cards, maybe we're splashing. I do feel like the Urborg Repossession could be a splash here. You know what, I'm going to cut this Colossal Growth and run repossession, and I might actually try to still get this Stronghold Arena in the deck. Maybe try to play Stall for Time over it. We'll just run one Swamp in the deck as well. Because on average, what are we going to hit? Our spells are around three, and then we would have a bunch of land. Maybe I can cut the stall for time and run the arena. Well, let's try it. What the heck? Why not? So at least six planes. No islands. One Swamp gives us one, two, three black sources? That's pretty low. Maybe we would even want two Swamps here. And then green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, we probably want to go up another Plains with so many arrests. Eight white, eight green, three black. Yeah, that's fine. I 
Okay. God, the more I look at that stronghold arena. Are we actually pushing through enough creatures to utilize this? We have a couple flyers. This just doesn't seem good enough to me. Yeah, that seems worse than just running stall through time. I'll still keep two swamps, that's okay. Alright. Let's go with this uh, green-white or Abzani. Whatever this is. Uh. Need something to do early, but we'll keep this hand. Turn three treaty, turn four worm. And hoping to find something to do next turn. That's not good. Mm. So we'll treaty for a second forest. Yeah, Planeswalker a lot worse when you don't have much to do before it. And hopefully they just pump and pass. Yeah, that's fine. That's a decent draw, okay. Oh, we have a couple of removal spells here. Domain aggro? I would guess they're like red-black. That was unexpected. Okay. I'm gonna lead with Worm. It's just so much more mana efficient, because next turn I can use double removal. The only downside here is if they have a punch effect of their own. Yeah, we're not blocking. It's a lot of damage. Okay, I'm at nine. And now I take four more. I'm at five. We'll pump here. Back for eight. We want to bite down this right now. Say go. Hope they don't have a removal spell. Oh, if they have another Maria's Outrider, we're also just dead. Okay. We'll double block the knights. Go for the Asunder. Oh, they ordered creatures wrong here, too. Unless they have another follow-up to kill the worm. Yeah, they just messed up bad. Well, that's gonna... Probably give us the game, then. Next turn, we can go Menace, hit them for 9, if they just play like a Singleton creature. But they get to gain! Okay. So back in the game. Um. One, two, three. Gosh, I'm one land off of winning. If we had drawn a tap untapped land, we would have won. I think I'm still supposed to play out the badger. 
Yeah, I still like playing it out. I am pretty happy to see that card. Sheesh. Nice, that's a good draw too. Let's look at the top. Found a creature, very good. In fact, that lets us go... Pump the Badger. Now they cannot kill with a block. Now I'm just going to play the Acolyte out as a 3-4 flyer. So we die to them drawing another Outrider, we die to them drawing a way to recur their Outrider, we die to the- Oh no no, we, we uh, tore asunder, didn't we? We exiled it. So they can't not recur that. Um, I still think I like running this out. This is bad if they have like a drag from the bottom or a firestorm. But that way we still have lethal even if they just draw one creature. Nice, that doesn't do it. We hold? I have nine on the nine on the board. You have one card. Jaya, and they have to make a blocker. Okay. Let's draw. Leave that on top. Um, yeah, I need to go all out on face to force them to chump and leave them dead next turn. They're going to use Jaya minus, though. But if I attack Jaya, they don't have to block and they would be left with the token. So. Oh, they were both red cards. They hit an Outrider for lethal! Wow, I think we got unlucky. Again, I don't think I'm supposed to attack the Jaya there. But, what can you do? Yeah, I think I like my play. Force him to chump with the 1-1 token. Let's see, attack. Yeah. What can you do? We're at five and they drew a way to deal five damage off of the Jaya. This hand looks good. We can go two drop, two two, a rest, and then a Johnny. Ooh, and now a Darien as well. Yeah, we're just gonna curve out with creatures. Oh, that's a fantastic draw. We're actually going to do that instead of Darien, because I don't want to run into a scatter. And this means we can cast one of our four drops next turn, as well as fix our mana. Oh, maybe we're on a... Maybe we're playing against another domain deck. Okay, let's run out the Ajani. Can't scatter that. They could have a... Negotiations card? No, they didn't even do anything else. So let's just start upticking. We'll leave a land on top. Need to get to five for Worm anyways. Nice. Lightning strike my 2-2. I can get behind that. Strider. So we can just arrest that. Although that turns off my uh, Weather Seed Treaty. Yeah, it seems like a fine draw as well. 
Let's go arrest. Whenever you cast a creature or planeswalker, target opponent gets two poison counters. We could actually go for a Johnny ult. How funny is that? We have eight poison in our hand right now. Let's do it. Let's have fun. I'm an I'm ultimate here. We can also return a Johnny with Urborg possession and repossession anyways. This might be the worst play I've ever made, but... <laughs> I kind of like it. <sighs> oh, they did pay. So they're gonna... Ah, they're gonna double lightning strike the worm. Nice. Good. Alright, we'll go ahead and take five. They're at four poison. That's a scary card. They have another? Oh, I'm blocking. Oh, sure. Doesn't matter that they copied it because this doesn't have trample. Jeez, that would have done a ton of damage. Yeah. King Darien. Plus Sky Knight. And they know I have a repossession in my hand. We cast one more creature, we win with Infect. Check that off the bucket list of things to do in this format if we can do this. They're going to need a counter for possession. Because even if you counter the creature, you still get the infect. This would be incredible. Okay, so they're just going to enlist the flame sage to this, or the strike team to the flame sage. I can always sack the Darien to make our uh, sapperling indestructible as well. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, that is... That is worth the draft right there. We got to freaking win with a Johnny Poison. I've never seen that. I mean, I did it as a kind of a troll -o -lol, but... That was nice. That was really nice. Even if we lose every game from here on out, I'm not going to feel that bad. I'll feel a little bit bad, but not that bad. Um, this hand needs to find a 2-drop. And then a land. Specifically, planes, and then a Johnny. <laughs> this hand's not very good. It's not bad, it's just not very good. If Darien dies, we have nothing going on. Alright, they mulliganed. We'll take it. It's our best two drop that we can draw. Uh, Rootwalla? Let's draw Rootwalla. Although I would accept Juniper. Big ol' Marrow. And there's a Johnny. Actually, we can pay the play this right now. And just uptick. Leave the lands on top, obviously. Sure. Nice. Uh, 
And if they're attacking a Johnny for one, then they're not looting, so that's good. Um, yeah, we'll leave another land on top. I'm going to lead off with Sky Knight here, because it blocks the Vohar, and we really don't care if they use a removal spell on this 2-2 flyer. Rona's a good... Exile target. Join us in perfect harmony. Again, I don't really care if a Johnny takes one damage from Bohar. I mean, maybe they can combine Vohar one damage with a uh, Lightning Strike or whatever. No, it looks like they're just going to keep looting. We haven't drawn a card yet with a Johnny. We want to, like, we want to hit a creature off of a Johnny instead of keep scrying lands to the top, you know? Like, our best draw next turn is probably one of our dual lands for Mero, and then uptick a Johnny and find a land, or find a creature. Card of timely interference. Maybe they have like a fire nado to kill a Johnny, but eh. Doesn't hit planeswalkers, but that's annoying. Nice, we finally hit. Okay. Every day more rally to our glorious cause. Darien plus Vine Shaper is not. Too shabby. Probably fine. if they're going to flash back their timely interference with Fohar and make my Darien block. Discarded infantry. It's a scary one. Oh, they're just going to go for a second Outrider. Yikes. Alright, I'm at 10. I don't want to give vigilance here. Sure. I like this. I'll use Might and kill both of their Outriders. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, that was good. Two. But while they're over there dirtling, now we're just going to start smacking. If 
If they just pass with three mana open, we can use Darien's ability instead of doing anything else as well. Next turn, if I get to uptick a Johnny, the following turn we can do another minus. Okay, that's fine. Probably don't want that land. Five mana, four, four, not very exciting. Although I guess it does have the buff from the Darien. Discard's Essence Scatter. Yeah, you're not in a position to do that. One mana Terror is pretty good. Sure. Okay. Another scatter gone and a rager. So Can I kill them here? I'm very really close to killing them. I can also make them chump with their... Chump with their... Talarian Terror. Let's see what we draw after we do this. Oh man, land would have won. Okay, then we go... Here, here. Up, up. I will, will join an they have to chump one of the six sixes, take eight. And then I definitely, definitely think we run this out as a 3-3 three, three next turn, or this turn, for another lethal threat. Looking decent. Looking decent. Alright, that gets rid of one of my creatures. Ah, not bad. Wait, why didn't they bounce Marrow then? They bounced the cheaper spell for some reason. Oh, I see. Okay. So now they can bounce the marrow. Sure. Well, they made this interesting. So they have to double block the Juniper. Like go block, block, trade. Oh, that would kill it afterwards. Kill my Darien. We would wipe their board and put them to one. So it's probably just better to attack like this.
Sorry, deal one, not put him to one. But any creature I have is lethal. Okay, Marrow's too expensive to keep. Another espionage. <laughs> Alright, this is okay. Raven man. Oh, they're gonna make a bird here. Oh, that doesn't matter. Let's see. So we can pump the dairy in. They could go trade, trade. They did top something, but... Man, this is a close game. Like, they put, um... 3-2 on 3-3, three, three, and then both 2-1s on... Darien. is why I did not play out the land. They go to one. They only have five cards left in their deck. Well, let's go for it. Jeez. All right. Can they find enough things to kill me, though? <laughs> Alright, two more lethal threats. Think we got him, friends. Woo! <laughs> oh. Crazy, crazy game. Man, what a grind that was. I didn't draw very many lands that game, did I? I might have gotten really, really lucky with the amount of lands versus spells. Although we did we did do a m amount of um, effective scrying and whatnot, right? It wasn't like I just never drew a land. It's just we put a lot of them on the bottom. Anyways, on to the next game, we have a fantastic looking curve. Prodigy, basically just a bear in this deck. I could play the Ajani out right now if I wanted to. That is a terrifying card. Go for the value. And we need double white. So we have multiple, we have three arrests. Let's just get the Ajani uptick. We will make this world. We have allies. Hmm. Yeah, that's worth keeping. So I can tear asunder and might next turn still.
Infantry still scary in red white, though not as scary as in uh, red blue, I think. I'm okay with double blocking here. If they had a trick, it feels like the infantry would have attacked, and if they want to just pump their Kavu once to trade, I'm okay with that. Nice. I'm happy with that. Alright, Johnny. If you could draw me a card next turn. That is strange, because they know I'm drawing asunder. But I guess there's no rush. I'll play out the coalition and pass. Currently we have plus four, plus four, so... If they get frisky and attack, I will block and do the thing. Again, they didn't attack with the infantry last turn, so they might not have much for it. hold the Terrace under for now. This might give them a destroy evil target, but... You can't sit back versus red-white forever. It just gives them too much time to find more, like, Captain's Call type cards and then charge. Have to be a little bit proactive. I mean, if we really want to, what we can do is tear us under the arrest, get back a Johnny, and then immediately minus three on our Sky Knight for another decent sized flyer, and just hope they don't have multiple removal spells. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm just going to put him on a two-turn clock. Even if they have one removal spell now, we still put them on a two-turn clock after that. The question is, do I want to stall for time now, or wait until next turn where I can also kick it? They haven't conceded yet, so presumably they have a way to deal with one of my flyers. But I feel like if they had Destroy Evil, they would have used it last turn on the Acolyte instead of... Well, no. Maybe they Double Phalanx was pretty good still. like how their infantry hasn't done anything. Too bad I could not kick that. Ooh, okay, that means I beat them just having a flying chumper. Hopefully that's what they have then. 
Yeah, I'm gonna no blocks. Johnny's gonna die anyways, and I don't want to risk losing any of my flyers. Maybe they have a lifelink? Okay. So they're gonna gain three here. Sure. I guess Urborg Repossession would win. King Darien puts him to one. If they draw charge, do I lose? It would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 21, 24, 25, 26, 29. Yeah, we would lose. Uh, so they have to draw exactly charge. Okay. But I have to put them on a two-turn clock. If I don't attack with both flyers... I don't get to do that. Phew. Okay, man, I was going to be really sad if we got top decked again. I mean, that one game where we didn't kill the Jaya, lingering in my mind. I don't think it was wrong to attack there, though, give him fewer outs. All right, three and one now. This deck is uh, performing a little bit better than expected, but I will say I have drawn a Johnny with very high frequency. So maybe a correlation to that, but on to the next we go. Game number five. No, a Johnny. Lots of blue mana, though. This sand is just a bunch of three threes and a dream. Ooh. We might actually hold off on playing out the... Uh, Prodigy now, huh? I guess I'm going to go with Badger here. I can make a 4-4 four, four next turn instead. Beautiful. Let's do that. Badger. 4-4. Four, four, tap land. Smack. We actually have a pretty nice aggressive draw here, given that we have a bunch of creatures and two removal spells to go along with it. Might just be a double removal spell's turn next turn. Right? Bite down and arrest. They play like a sentry here or something. I guess we wouldn't need to do that, but... No plays, and I'm a little more concerned. In fact, if they no play, I'm just gonna... Prodigy and pass. Bide my time. Maybe it's, they just have like an extinguish and they're going to kill it anyways, but. It's good. Yeah, same thing. If I had attacked, they wouldn't have even blocked. They'd probably just fire that off. Okay. I guess we'll go Phalanx and pass. 
Oh, I guess this wasn't a good draw. I don't have my black. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. In fact, these these two don't actually do anything right now. Let's see if they want to hit me for seven. Yes, they do. All right. We'll take a big old chunk. Ow. Another badger. Okay. I think I just like arresting their Baloth this turn. And saying go. I'm gonna keep sandbagging the bite down. I don't think we're in any rush to use it yet. Sure. I think it's too risky to block. I wanted to double block there, but I think we just keep pushing. They had a third Terra Sunder. No wonder. Wow. That's insane. Eesh. That's, well, if we don't find a black source, we are very dead. They must still have, like, the Death Touch trick, though. Which really sucks. I mean, I have to make this block. Oh, maybe they just have Repossession, then. Swamp, where are you? I think I gotta block the 5-5 five five and pray. They'll take three, go to seven if they have any follow-up pressure. Another one. All right, come on. Uh, that'll probably do her. Even if we found the swamp now, it's a little bit too late, feels like. I'm just dead on board. Oh, yes, I'm dead on board. They only pumped that for two, but that's good enough. Okay, sure, buddy. <laughs> Not much you can do there. I'm not going to say they drew perfectly, but man, they drew very, very well for what we had. Triple Terra Sunder is going to be pretty backbreaking. Alright, three and two. What did I say? I'd be happy we've got four or five wins with this deck, so... We can pull off one more win. Everything will be okay. Three and three is probably more realistic, but... Let's just get another game where we can draw Johnny, we can draw our other mana sources. I believe in the power. Good enough. Turn 3 Treaty on the play finds us our uh, Swamp, a removal spell, and a Sky Knight. Like, this is fine. Treaty with the uh, fight down also pretty good. Oh, that's very good. So now we get to go turn three Treaty, grab Swamp, turn four Marrow as a 6-6. Six, six. That's very good. Nice. Big boy. Are they going to kill my token? What are they doing? Death touch!
Nine you. I'm gonna go with Phalanx over Sky Knight. Just plays around them having like minus two, minus two or something, and we still have a rest to break through. Nice. Ooh, good curve, good curve. Turn three treaty, turn four marrow, and then immediately gets trampled the following turn. We had a couple of removal spells back up. We're at four wins. That's all I could ask for. We got four. Beautiful. Anything beyond this is just gravy. Like I said, we already peaked. We had that stupid game where we got to win with a Johnny <laughs> emblem for poison. Uh, you got a mulligan that one. The same hand! What? I guess this one's a keep. And I'm gonna pitch the stealth for time. We just need to find a green source and this hand's like, okay. Right? With a green source, we'd be able to cast basically everything. We'd have all of our colors. We have more green sources in the deck than anything else. Perfect. Whew. I mean, this is a hand that can now win. Two drop, three drop, five drop removal. It's a mirror match? They've given me the Abzan mirror? Oh no. Oh no. I don't believe I'm supposed to tear us under that thing, though. As much as I want to. This is it. This is the full mirror match. I attack with both here since we drew the uh, might. They're probably thinking, what the hell is going on? Right, no blocks. Pass. Best bet is that they're not going to pump the sentry here, although we'd like for them to do that, obviously. Ho ho. Normally you don't pump your best creature, but hey, we'll take it. Maybe they have like indestructible trick in their hand and they couldn't use it versus the exile effect. That's a very good draw too, huh? So here, I'm not going to actually attack with the Rootwalla. I'm just going to attack with the Badger. I don't want them to block this and force me to pump. <laughs> they totally had the indestructible trick. That's why they put it on the sentry. <laughs> oh, we got him good. Tear asunder. Doing work. Hey! All right, knock it off. Yep, take three. They only have one card in their hand, though. Ooh, that's a good draw. All right. Darien and pass. Because if they cannot kill the Darien, that is going to win by itself in a stalled out game like this. I actually think trading with the Root Weaver is correct, because we have Repossession. And I'm kind of just bricking on lands right now. This is awkward versus like exactly a Benelish Sleeper. Uh-oh. They drew another pump effect? Sure. I don't really want to use my... This is plus three, plus three. Having only one green source here makes this super awkward to use the might. If 
But I guess it's fine. Keep the Darien around. Should've just attacked with both here, instead of enlisting. That's not very good for us. Okay, we're in trouble. Man, not having a second green source here is really bad. Oh, they should have pumped up their knight before enlisting. Wait, what is this? Now I get to just trade with... What? Why did the knight not attack here? That was a weird play. Good for us, though. Come on with these draws, man. Well. I guess if one player is going to get lucky, the other deserves to get lucky as well, eh? I hold Darien back to block the token. Even one damage is relevant. They can mass hit me with the knight, but we really need to find a second green source so I can go Rootwalla and Darien activation or whatever. So that knight is still a problem. That pumps up currently to a five power. So I'm gonna go to six. Yo, 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 yo. Not fine. Fine. All right, keep getting dairy in value. So if they want to kill the worm, they have to mass pump. And we are okay with this. Alright. Two drop off the battlefield. We did it. Best play is just to sit back on Darien. That's bad. That's very bad. Ah. Uh. Holy moly, that's bad. I don't even think they're supposed to block. Dude, are you kidding? Holy crap. Oh, 
Uh, I mean, that wasn't even a very good attack, all things considered. But if they draw another creature next turn, I lose, assuming I don't draw something here. Oh, wait, the spider kills us. We lose. So I needed... Oh, there was no way for me not to kill the spider, though. Yeah. Holy crap, man. That's frustrating, but... What can you do? Maybe I needed to... I don't know, mass block the... Mass block the thing earlier. The knight. Maybe I took too much damage from the knight. No, but they ripped a bunch of... Yeah. Good beats. Not much you can do. Alright. Ah. Little bit frustrating, but... I, there must have been a better way that I can play that. Like, obviously the opponent drew very well there at the end after we had stabilized. But there must have been something I could have done differently. Oh well. GG's. Well, anyways, we did get to four wins, so happy with that. We got to even win with the Ajani ultimate, which was kind of insane. I don't I don't expect to ever do that again in this format. Um, yeah. Cheeky little green-white deck. I mean, we opened Ajani, pick one, pack one. We opened Darien, pick one, pack two. Kind of just went from there. Um, so yeah, good stuff. I'm excited that we're still getting to try new things in this format. Once again, if I open Joda or get past early Joda, I will try to do it for real this time. Uh, beyond Joda, I don't think there's too much I haven't done in the format. I guess I've never opened the Blue Sphinx in draft, but we'll keep it going. Thanks for watching, everybody, on these daily YouTube videos. I'll see you back tomorrow. Peace out.